pictorialis plane block or pix block. This is Dr. Terkawi from Stanford Department of Anesthesiology, Perioperative and Pain Medicine. Hopefully you are watching the, the rest of these uh, videos. I started by uh, a long video describing the fundamentals of tranquil regional analgesia. And then for each of the following block, I have a separate video. So to remind you, this is the, the image. I promised you it will be uh, relevant to most of the um, trunker blocks. So here for the spinal nerves, specifically between T2 to T12, the spinal nerve um, started by the combination of vertebral, uh, ventral and dorsal root to form the spinal nerve. Here we have the small uh, DRG. Then the spinal nerve uh, very quickly uh, give two branches, the ventral rami that continue as intercostal nerve and the dorsal rami that give uh, lateral and medial branches. So the intercostal nerve, as you see, give two branches, one almost at the mid-axillary level, the lateral cutaneous branch, and here close to the sternum, the anterior cutaneous branch. The lateral cutaneous branch further subdivided into anterior and posterior. This is very important for PIX block. Why? Because as you see here, the, the, the lateral cutaneous branch, um, it bifurcate um, in this facial plane. So this is serratus anterior, this is uh, uh, pectoralis major and pectoralis minor, and, and the underneath that is the intercostal uh, muscle. So if you end up injecting um, the local anesthetic in this plane between the uh, pectoralis major and minor, which, which is PIX1, um, you will uh, miss the, uh, the, the, the bifurcation, the, the origin of the bifurcation here. Uh, while if you, and basically that means you're going to miss the lateral, uh, uh, part of the lateral, specifically the posterior branch of the lateral. So in order to do, to overcome for that, then you need to go one facial plane layer lower, so below the serratus anterior to capture the lateral cutaneous branch before it bifurcate to the posterior and uh, anterior uh, branches. Now, the three most important muscle here, um, starting from here, is the pectoralis major. Very important to know that the pectoralis major originate from the medial half of the clavicle and anterior surface of the sternum, first seven costal cartilages, aponeurosis, and then it inserts in the lateral lip of the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus, and it is innervated mostly by the lateral pectoralis nerve. It uh, adduct, uh, medial rotate, and flex the humerus at the shoulder uh, joint. Why this is important? Because once you block this nerve, the lateral pectoral nerve, you lose the pectoralis uh, major function, so your patient will not be able to adduct or medially rotate uh, the shoulder. Um, here we have the pectoralis minor, which originate from the anterior surface of the uh, third, um, uh, fourth, and fifth um, ribs, and deep fascia 
uh, overlying the related intercostal spaces and it insert as you see in the coracoid process of the scapula and it's innervated by the medial pectoral nerve what it does it depress the tip of the shoulder and protract the scapula and finally here the serratus anterior muscle as you see the serratus anterior it originates from the top lateral surface of um, first eight to nine uh, uh, ribs let's say the first the upper eight ribs and wrap it out uh, posterior medially then it insert uh, on the underneath goes underneath the scapula and insert uh, at the med um, uh, uh, it, it, it insert at the medial border of the scapula. It is elongated by the long thoracic uh, uh, nerve, and what it does, it pro uh, do a protraction and upward rotation of the uh, scapulothoracic joint. So again, long thoracic nerve that supply the serratus anterior. So if you look here, just the first strip, so this is the clavicle. If you put your ultrasound, the first strip under the clavicle is the second rib. You don't see serratus here. Then the third rib, you don't see also serratus, unless if you go mid-axillary, you start to see it really at the, uh, at the fourth rib. And this is very relevant, and I will show you in a minute here. It is also important since we use a PIX block mostly for uh, chest wall slash breast surgery to be familiar with the uh, breast innervation. So as you see here, this is the lateral pectoral nerve. This is the medial pectoral nerve. And the breast also get a lot of innervation from the uh, anterior cutaneous branches of the intercostal nerve. And um, it has a lot of innervation from the lateral cutaneous branches of the intercostal nerve and then mainly in the axilla especially if if, if you have um, axillary dissection or uh, ra um, uh, radicular uh, mastectomy and there is more a dissection involved and uh, removal of uh, sometimes pex uh, muscles then here, uh, especially in the axilla, you need the long thoracic and uh, sometimes the thoracodorsal and sometimes the intercostobrachial nerve. Uh, this is another view. Specifically, I would like you to focus on the lateral pectoral and medial pectoral nerve and the relation of the lateral pectoral nerve with the thoracoacromial artery the pectoral branch of the thoracoacromial artery which uh, run very close to the lateral pectoral nerve in the facial plane between the pectoralis major and minor um, this is another uh, picture just to show you specifically i would like you to look at the serratus anterior muscle here these are serratus anterior muscle so when you put your medication above that um, uh, as you see it can spread to the long thoracic and all the lateral uh, uh, cutaneous uh, branches now x1 is basically um, in the facial plane between pectoralis major and pectoralis minor at the level of the third rib pex 2 between pectoralis minor and serratus anterior at the level of the fourth rib um, the way we should do this um, put your patient in a supine position use a linear transducer it will help if the patient arm uh, next to the body or uh, slightly also abducted that's um, uh, even better and uh, it will be easier if you stand at the head of the bed. Then for PIX1, so what you need to do, uh, mostly you start uh, at the clavicle or coracoid process uh, and go 
uh, paramedian sagittal. The transducer then placed at the um, mid clavicular line and angled inferior laterally to visualize the axillary artery and vein, which will be at the level of the second rib. Again, the first rib you will see after the clavicle will be the second rib. So at that point, you need to rotate um, the caudal uh, end of the transducer more lateral to visualize the pectoral uh, uh, branch of the thoracoacromial artery. And this is again usually between pectoralis major and minor. And here we are mostly around the third uh, uh, rib. At that facial plane, you can put 10 mL of local anesthetic to perform pe uh, PEX1. Then for PEX2, uh, move the transducer slightly um, inferior and lateral at the level of the fourth rib here until pectoralis minor muscle and serratus anterior muscle are identified. Then um, sometimes you may need to tilt the transducer more medially just to visualize the ribs because remember how the ribs uh, curve. Then advance the needle until, and that's a, sometimes it can be an awkward uh, um, position of the transducer uh, in relation to the needle. Then advance the needle into the facial plane between pics, minor and serratus anterior, and usually we use 20 mL of local anesthetic. Um, some uh, authors um, recommend that you do uh, pics 2 before pics 1 just uh, to maintain good visualization of the facial plane between pectoralis major and minor. Nerves that block by pics 1 um, just the medial and lateral pectoral nerve. For PIX2, the lateral cutaneous branches of the intercostal nerve, usually uh, T3 to 6, the intercostal uh, brachial nerve, and the long thoracic nerve. Note, you um, hardly can get the anterior cutaneous branches. Maybe with PIX1, if you go very uh, medial as if you are doing para uh, sternal block but for any question um, for with PIX block you don't get the anterior cutaneous branches um, but the surgeon can put some local at that and can cover that uh, remaining small part so indication for acute pain breast surgeries subvascular uh, uh, prosthesis ports pacemakers, implantable cardiac uh, defibrillator, uh, minimally invasive mitral valve repair, it's a good block, uh, anterior uh, uh, thoracotomies, anterior shoulder surgery, and axillary dissection. Uh, for chronic pain, I have used it in a few patients after um, they came with uh, persistent post-surgical pain after sternotomy, after open heart surgery, and it worked uh, very well. C contraindication as a very general contraindication, patient refusal, local anesthetic allergy, infection at the site of the um, needle injection, bleeding, and complication, pneumothorax, infection, last, and vascular injury. So um, let's wrap up with looking at some ultrasound picture. So if you put uh, your ultrasound probe right here, just underneath when you pass the clavicle at the level of the second rib, uh, you will not see pectoralis minor. You will only see pectoralis uh, uh, major. Um, so if you don't see pectoralis minor and you don't see the thoracoacromial artery, that means you are too medial. You have to go more lateral and inferior, as you see, because the, remember the pectoralis minor is not that uh, wide muscle. So once you go over that and you start to see pectoralis minor and thoracocromial artery, then you are um, at the right 
uh, position around uh, the at the at the uh, third uh, uh, rip, and that's where you uh, need to do uh, PIX1 between these two muscles. Now, once you want to do PIX3, uh, uh, sorry, PIX2, uh, you have to go more inferior and more lateral. So at this level, you hardly, um, so this is your uh, fourth uh, rep where you should do it. So you start to see uh, serratus anterior here and the pectoralis minor start to fade. So here around this, you put your uh, needle and you inject the medication. Again, um, if, if you don't, if you put your ultrasound probe, you have to see pectoralis minor and the artery here. So that's the third rib where you put PIX1, slide more inferior, more lateral to do um, PIX2. Now, more uh, clean, uh, cleaner picture here. So this is how you put your ultrasound. Uh, for uh, PIX1 above the third rib, and then this is pectoralis uh, major and pectoralis minor. The artery is here. This is the axillary artery, um, most likely. And as you see, you open up the space by injecting the medication here. Then you go farther down to the fourth rib and here you see the serratus anterior muscle and you see uh, the pectoralis uh, minor and pectoralis major thank you for watching